We are entering peak Santa Ana season and wildfire season. LA County is so concerned, it just brought in two more super scoopers from Canada. Special delivery from Canada, firefighters just received two new super scoopers, a possible game changer. They're back and ready to do battle. This year, the CL415 Super Scoopers hit the ground running. Last Thursday, the very first day of the contract, the big yellow planes helped tame the explosive route fire north of Castaic. Well, we're up over the fire and we've been watching these uh, Super Scoopers first day of the contract and boy, these guys are earning their money. I'm gonna go a little long here because he's right over the lake and I know everybody loves watching them just kind of scoop that water up. These are the airplanes picking up the water. I've never seen in my life. It is a very, very mean fighting machine. Top of the line aerial water bomber. Imagine a superhero of the skies. That's the Canadair CL415, affectionately known as the Super Scooper. The Canadair is the reference with respect to aerial firefighting and is the only aircraft specifically designed for that purpose. These aircraft are a tremendous tool for us. CL415 Super Scoopers from Quebec. Our partners in Canada come out to visit us each year. It's the 27th year of operation for us. The LA County Fire Department leased two more super scoopers from Quebec. For years, Sky 9 Stu Mundell has been giving viewers an aerial look at the firefight, and he's seen these super scoopers in action. It's just amazing. It's just this overwhelming sense of, wow, what the power that this machine can make, the ability that it has to put out so much fire. The plane can hold 1,600 gallons of water and is often seen during a wildfire scooping up water from a nearby lake and dropping it onto the blazing fire. The CL415 is a phenomenal machine. Its ability to pick up water six times in an hour delivers a big punch to a fire. The video from the plane's manufacturer, Bombardier, shows how it works. Pilots flying the plane close to 100 miles an hour skim the surface of a lake, gathering up water through scoops on the plane's belly. There's one on the right, there's one on the left. Like I say, they're five inches by eight inches. They get deployed before we touch down on the water. About 12 seconds later, these tanks inside the plane will be full with more than 1,600 gallons of water and the pilots are off to the fire. They can drop every five to 10 minutes, depending on the location of the water source. They're one of the few aircraft that actually can dip water or take water out of the ocean, the salt water. We can't do that with the helicopters because of how damaging it is to them. You can see instant results, uh, and they do it with such precision. Canada is known for being able to attack the fire at very low altitudes, while other water bombers lose their effectiveness at higher speeds and higher altitudes. When required, the Canadair can battle fires in fleet formation of two, four, or six aircraft, providing up to 6,000 liters of water dropped in sequence as frequent as every 15 seconds. Six tons of water released in just a few seconds. On the ground, the impact is enormous. This force, added to the blast effect, helps to smother the flames. Its superior maneuverability makes it perfect to operate in the steepest terrain is unbelievably maneuverable. You can enter in every little space. All of the Canadian pilots, the guys from the province of Quebec, are ex-bush pilots, so we were used to fly float planes and ski planes. All Super Scooper pilots have extensive seaplane backgrounds and don't touch down on a lake unless it's safe. He says if you see this plane in the area, move your boat closer to shore and grab your camera. There he is. Look at that perfect timing. We love perfect them timing. super scoopers. One of the planes came up over us. My wife saw, saw the shadow, so flew right over us when we were going through the canyon. So that was cool. This is obviously a very welcome sight uh, to know, John, that they are able to put this aircraft up and that the winds have sort of taken a little bit of a break from yesterday. And what's really interesting about that, and you see right there just in front of the wing, that is from the province of Quebec. Up in Canada. Quebec, les Amis du Nord, who are uh, joining in the fight here in their Canada Air water bomber that they used in the uh, fires up there in northern Quebec in uh, December of 2023. We have firemen and women from uh, Mexico, from Canada. And very grateful for them. Chief Kristen Crowley said that the biggest asset right now are the water dropping uh, assets who have been making a big difference in fighting these fires. Mike, we also have seen some problems with other aircraft that have nothing to do with what our firefighters are trying to do. The uh, aircraft that you're talking about, Pat, is uh, a drone. 
Did you hear the other thing that uh, was confirmed by uh, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department about a sco super scooper? Earlier today, they were making some water drops, yes. and there was a drone, an unauthorized drone flying, and it hit the, the wing of that plane. The plane had to come down, not seriously damaged. So now the FBI is moving in, well, FAA, and they're telling yeah. anybody, if you put a drone up in this area, you're going to jail. The Los Angeles County Fire Department said that the plane known as Quebec One had been struck by a civilian drone Thursday and sustained damage to its wings. This small drone hit the wing of our CL-415 Super Scooper aircraft that we currently have on contract from the province of Quebec. The pilots were unaware that they hit the drone. It wasn't until they landed at Van Nuys Airport that the maintenance staff noticed that there was a fist-sized hole in the leading edge of the wing. Everyone should know, all of your viewers, flying a drone in the fire traffic area is not only dangerous, but it's illegal. That is so wildly dangerous. That oh. could have brought down that aircraft. Now we are down a firefighting asset, an important one that, by the way, isn't ours. We borrow those from Canada. They come down to help us out, and now one of them is out of service with a hole in its wing, which is not an easy repair, by the way. All right, so we, Canada, gave America some planes to fight the fires in LA, because of course we did, and uh, they broke it. They hit a drone, and it's got a hole in the wing now. So one of the planes is grounded, so it's cool. Who's the dumbass who thought it would be a great idea to fly a drone in the middle of a raging fire where firefighters are risking their lives just so you can get the shot? The super scooper and that technique is our number one tool to fight wildfires like this. And when folks fly drones, that, that hampers those abilities significantly. That super scooper will be prioritized for repair 24-7. It should be flying Monday. Uh, we only have two of them. But a lot of people may have noticed on the wing it says Quebec. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because these planes are in fact on loan from Canada. Mm -hmm. Quebec has about 12 of these units. We've shipped two to California, and there's two showing up, I think, tonight. Quebec Public Security Minister Francois Bonnardel announced Friday morning that the province will send two additional air tankers. Quebec Transport says there are two more planes heading to the U.S. this week. I think at home people are watching as well on social media feeds, crews in L.A. saying those water bombers that have come down from Quebec are crucial because they're the only kind of planes that can use ocean water. As of January 15th, four Quebec air tankers will be contributing to efforts to fight the historic wildfires in L.A. More and more help is arriving all the time. And the good news is these Canadian crews who often help out with wildfires like this uh, from British Columbia and Quebec, they're so experienced with the wildfires there, they really know what they're doing and they can drop water right on the target. It's almost uh, like watching a great sports game when they really nail it. It's pretty amazing. Look at this American badass right here, son. Look at the Pacific. How rough it is. He don't give a s***, son. I've got it, Captain. Watch, he's going to skim it right across the Pacific. That right there is an American badass, son. Whoa, baby. The the Canadian, our, it's Canadian. Uh, and, and that's the thing is like the Canadians are awesome, right? Sending down. Thank you. Is that, that what that is? That's yeah. it, the Canadians, right there. And there's some awesome video of this thing scooping up some water. They're able to go out and return quickly where all those other uh, V-Lats and uh, other ones dropping Foschuk, they have a long return time. They got to go all the way to an airport somewhere where these guys are making great work. They're just constantly nonstop since I got here. And here comes another one. Balls of steel, son! Look at the concentration! Look at the focus! He's got a belly full, Captain! He's like, I don't give a sh**! We got a fire to put out! Oh, son! Holy sh**! Let's just watch this for a moment, though, because this is pretty uh, incredible. How quickly all yeah. that water was gathered, right? And they're going to just go right back up that hill. The real superhero swooped in, the Aquaman, if you will. And I have to say, watching these pilots drop water from planes, these precision strikes, it is so, I can watch this all day long. From now on, this is how I want to put out the candles on all my birthday cakes. The precision and the experience that these pilots, these firefighter pilots have, it's really incredible. Thousands of gallons of water, and he just lifts off and flies off into the damn sunset. That is an American badass. We don't scoop really often in the ocean in Quebec, so we have to manage the swell and the, the wave here. Was it scary? I didn't have time to think about that. <laughs>
<laughs> it's amazing what they're doing and, and the work that they're doing so quickly. And a big weapon in the fight against the fires is back in the air today. Now that it is flying once again, some are asking, should California buy one of these planes? The planes are being used in Europe and Australia, and their efficacy in utilizing ocean water is driving demand across the globe. The aircraft is used by 11 countries worldwide and is widely applied in emergency rescue operations. In Canada, they have a lot of provincial fleets there, and they're a lot based in Europe. In the U.S., they never have been. In California specifically, I think with all the publicity, we're getting a lot of interest as people see what they can do. The Super Scooper was recognized by Spain in 2006 as, quote, the most efficient tool for the aerial combat of forest fires and it is generally regarded around the world as the single greatest fire extinguisher ever invented. This line of aircraft is something of a Canadian success story, describing it as the only scooping aircraft of its size and capacity in the world. It was back in the 1960s. Canadians decided we needed to engineer a plane with this sort of aerial firefighting capacity. Canadair, now Bombardier, would build these planes for decades. Canadian aerospace, really exceptional engineers. And I think all Canadians can be proud that this is an aircraft built in Canada by Canadians uh, for the world. In the spring of 1998, a super scooper was flown from Quebec to southern Mexico, where it battled extensive wildfires for over a month. The super scooper was credited with saving 37 firefighters surrounded by fire, whereby it swooped in and made seven drops, opening a corridor in the fire that crews could escape through. And as multiple fires continue to rage on in the Los Angeles area, the Super Scoopers have become a welcome sight to residents and firefighters alike. It is a, an Indian product. We've got the world expertise in terms of building world class. And our friends in Europe, they don't call them Super Scoopers, they call them Canadairs. They're a very, very reliable and uh, will be there for the future.